Hey mates! It's Crushmire again, and today I'm gonna discuss a few issues you may run into when using the DIYer. I'll also show you how to fix them and how to avoid them in the future. The most common issue is wire jams in and around the bend head. This generally happens when bending wire at extreme angles or when two bend points are too close together. <laughs> To get a jam under the bend head, the simplest solution is to use manual mode to feed out the bend portion of wire until it can be removed. If the wire doesn't budge, you'll need to remove the bend head to clip off the jam portion of wire. With jams of this magnitude, it could sometimes be difficult to remove the bend head. We recommend using a strong magnet to shift the bend head until everything is broken loose. Once the jam portion of wire is clipped, you can reattach the bend head and start over. Another problem you may encounter is difficulty loading wire past the bend head. More often than not, this is simply caused by a burr at the end of the wire. Cutting off the burr with a sharp pair of clippers usually solves the problem, but if you're still having issues, you could smooth the end with a bench grinder or file. If you're still having difficulty, more than likely your wire diameter is too large for the bend head. Measure the diameter of your wire with a caliper or micrometer to see if it's a suitable size. When sourcing wire, remember that different manufacturing processes can produce a wide range of diameter tolerances. All wire purchased from Pencil Labs is tested before shipment to avoid these issues, but when using material from other sources, it's important to keep an eye on tolerances to ensure compatibility. <laughs>